We're gonna draw the rooster and paint it with watercolor. Enjoying art is an artist community. I would like to welcome you to join us today. Now I'm gonna show you how to paint this painting step by step. So it looks like the leg would be very much in the middle of the paper. So I'm going to draw a little vertical line coming down over here, right? So I'm going to put the suggestions for the leg already here. If you just print the body and you maybe lose the leg, maybe the leg going too low, right? The back, I'm going to put it somewhere over here. I'm then going to get the top, put the head over here. Like that. And don't draw the details yet. I just want to plan on the whole shape of the chicken. Like that. And the back of the neck is over here. Very long feather on the tail over here. I want to have the long feather like this. This is maybe going to affect the balance. So you want to plan the balance a little bit better before the details. I maybe have this a little bit higher. Like that, going down like this. And this see how you can find a better balance. It looks like the leg needs to move it forward a little bit. Now I'm gonna over here like that and take a look. Okay, the leg could be here, still have room at the bottom. Let's see. A little bit more. Like that. Okay, don't rush. Don't save your time in this step. Just see a little bit like that. And then we can see the head over here. And then we're gonna a little bit more. Every morning the rooster gonna sing and wake up people. What about the female chicken? Do they actually have more time to sleep? Okay, and the eye over here. Let's keep it like that. How about we're gonna start from the top? Start with some red color. I'm gonna use actually quite a bit of wet. I'm gonna start from here. Just one brush on it. Try to be economic. See that? I'm gonna color get a little bit more and more red. Okay, here we go. A little bit more red and a little bit more red like this. That's good. Now coming to the head over here. Okay, painting around. So the eye, looks like the eye can be a little bit higher. So you can still doing more changes, printing a little bit higher. Like that. That's good. And the mouth have a different colors. Okay, here we go. A little bit lighter over here. Have a little bit dark color drop in over here. And mix the red would become orange. So I'm gonna get it from here coming down. Here we go. And going around. You can leave a little gap if you want. Like that. And this pretty good. Get a little bit more yellow color. And coming down, okay, now get a little bit brighter. Okay, now coming down over here, I'm going to leave it, get a little bit orange color at the bottom over here. Now I'm going to come in all the way over here too as well. Here you go. And coming up. That's good. Now I'm going to get a little bit orange color at the bottom over here. Okay, here we go. I got some nice color. Now what I want to do, just let go most of the water and just extend the color down over here. Keep that a little edge like this. It looks very interesting. Okay, like this. Now I'm going to come down over here, have a few lines. Okay, that's good. When it went into wet, I'm going to have some nice texture. Okay, now on the top over there, I'm just going to add some red color. Only red on the top over here. There we go. I'm going to continue with the red color. 
in this okay coming over here I'm gonna have a little bit red at the bottom over here and a little red at the bottom over here also at the front over here as well like it went the web merge together okay now at the bottom over here just get a little bit blue color mix into it it's also already look like a little gray that's good I'm gonna soften that a little bit and showing a little bit light why don't I use some blue color uh, mix it together at the bottom over here and let the color merge together and even have a little bit texture coming up like that that will be great have a little bit softer coming up like that that's good okay now I'm gonna put some dark and thick color at the front over here Here we go, a little bit like that. And be confident, okay. If you print uh, enough at the beginning of the drawing step, you should be okay. If some a little bit changes, some variety, that would be okay too. Okay, now over here, that's, this is the leg at the front. And then the leg on the side. Uh, we're gonna come back to make some adjusting. Okay, over here almost dry. So I'm gonna add that color in here. Okay, here we go. Showing that. That's a little interesting. Maybe I have a little bit more blue in here. Now here we go. Now I'm gonna paint a little bit um, negative shape. I always say the dark shape. And hold a couple more over here. That's good. Now it's the underneath. Uh, we come back to give it a little bit more later, but let's paint the back. Now it's pretty good. We're almost there, right? Almost closer and closer to wrap up the first layer of all colors. Now take a look. Uh, I'm going to start from here, from here. Now this brush is pretty good with rendering a big brush like that coming down over here. Have some dry brush, that's good. Looks like the feather coming down all the way. Now before we, we keep all the way going down there, we're gonna mix a little darker color because the color actually start changing. Okay, over here. Like that, that keep that one feather. And uh, at the beginning over here also can be a little bit darker. And we're gonna do a little lifting in the middle to make it even more uh, lighter. Okay, like over here, coming over here all the way. And then we can, from the back over here, coming back, here you go. And then we're gonna do some adjusting. And the back over here also show a little bit small feather in the back that's okay okay now I'm gonna just come to use the clean brush do a little lifting over here okay okay you lift up some light make it show like the glassy uh, silky feeling of this I'm gonna lift up a little light uh, some of our members uh, like to also practice oil painting or acrylic and I can tell you that the difference between the opaque medium especially oil compared with watercolor is that the watercolor drive in a few minutes so that means that if you want to do the wet into wet, uh, you have to do that within that uh, available time. That's the few minutes, right? Compared with oil, you can do that anytime. I mean, give you a couple of days of time. You can do the wet into wet uh, changes. Okay. So by the way, if you also want to see more of the oil demonstrations, 
every Wednesday morning for members, uh, we have demonstrations. So hopefully you look into the the uh, the dashboard. We have a new page there, so you can see the schedules. Okay, continue over here. Here we go, over here, and then coming down, and then over here, coming down. That's nice feather. Here we go, a little bit over here, and take a look. Ooh, we know they leave a little white shape over there. I don't want to destroy or destroy some, but don't want to destroy all of them. Okay, and then a little feather over here. Okay, a little bit darker can coming from the bottom up like this. That's good. And the middle over here, and we can make this a little lighter shape. I'm gonna put some even darker shape a little bit later. Okay, a little bit feather on the other side, and a little bit over here. That's pretty good. And now we almost cover everything that we should be covering also over here a little bit. Okay, that's very nice. I'm going to lift up a little light shape here. Very well. And also here, I'm going to lift up a little bit more light shape. Like that, a little light shape like this. That's good. And the top over here. A little light shape like this. Keep going. Okay, that's very good. I'm gonna leave a little light shape over here, a little bit, as well as a little bit over here. So, and I think the light's pretty good. Now I'll come back to over here. I'm gonna make this a little bit lighter too. And now we need to have the flat brush and do a little bit better with the lifting. Okay, I'm gonna have a little bit more water with the brush. Now here you go. Now I can light up some area much faster. Okay, that's good. I try to create the feeling of the turning around on the neck. Okay, over here I can lift up a little bit light shape. The so seawater color is about five to six minutes is already dry. But you can still lifting the colors by using this one inch flat brush. Now here you go. Now I'm gonna have the feather coming out like this. Here you go. You don't have to use white. I say have to. Uh, you can use white if you want. But you don't have to use the white paint. You can use the lifting technique to revise the light shape. Okay, that's good. Hi, and the top over here. I'm gonna keep a little bit lighter because I also want to throw some yellow color. It's important that you have lighter in order to have the yellow color show a little bit better. Uh, so you don't want to put the yellow color on top of the darker color shape. And in that case, it's not gonna be good. Uh, it won't show because yellow color on top of any color will just make that color look a little bit darker. All right, we're gonna let it drive. We paint a little bit the mouth. Okay, let's take a look at over here. I have a little bit light brown color. And then a tip over here, we're gonna leave a little highlight on the top. And also we can use the same color, painting around inside the eye over here, but I'm gonna leave the highlight. Just only thing you need to worry about is the highlight. Gonna keep the highlight over there. Maybe the highlight can be a little bit smaller. Here we go. Oh, that's good. And then later, we'll come back to paint the detail. 
But since we're already here, why don't we also add something to a little bit brown color, like a little bit more warm brown, a little bit red, and the top over here. Now we're getting into a little bit more and more details, like right here, that's good. We're gonna make this a little bit deeper. Okay, that's good. Now just use the red orange color, soften it, let this coming out a little bit. Oh, why don't I do a little dry brush coming down like this. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna to come to the lick. Take the licks mostly is red, but in the shadow, it should have a little bit brownish feeling. Okay, now I'm gonna put this in here. Okay, the whole lick is actually in the cast shadow. I'm gonna paint that look like this, that's good. Here we go. And there's also, you don't have to draw all the tiny, tiny, tiny details because you can put it into the painting process. That's good. And the other one on the back, I'm gonna use a little bit darker, a little bit different colors like this. Get a little bit red, get a little bit darker. Here we go. And That's good. And the back over there. That's good. Keep it like that for now. And now we're gonna come back over here to find something else to do. This is still wet because we just did a little lifting. So let's do a little color over here. One, two, and a little shape. That's good, on the back. Okay, that's good. Like that, keep it minimum. And now I'm gonna come to uh, this a little uh, blue color, I'm gonna remove it. I'm gonna come to get a little brighter color. Get the yellow, uh, have it here, a little bit brighter. A little brighter yellow color, we want that. Okay, add it over here too. That's good. Oh, so we're gonna have some brighter yellow color, of course, over here. Very bright, that's good. Ooh. I'm gonna have a little bit softer in the top over here. Okay, that's good. All right. Um, this color almost what we want. But we want it to be just a little bit deeper. Add it over here, coming up over here, like that. That's good, adjusting the color. And now take a look at the feather. And the feather is almost there, and it's almost dry already. Now we can come back to even finish the feather. Let's take a look, get a little blue color with the red. The wind's blue green shade with the red color together is making a very, very deep color. That's good. All right, I'm gonna have a little bit, a uh, little bit separation between that. And now I'm gonna have a little bit darker from here coming up. And over here, and some separation between that two. Okay, a little bit catch the shadow of the color underneath. That's pretty good. Now I'm gonna actually make a little bit more bigger, catch the shadow over here. And we see the another feather underneath. Okay, like this, here we go. And when we do this, we also give a little suggestions of the feather at the front. Like that, that's good. Wonderful. Um, and take a look at the bottom over here, a little bit darker, have some feather, and a little feather over here, a little bit darker. Now I'm gonna have it suggesting that is, here we go, now the feather underneath. That's very good. Um, pretty good. And then the, the tip over here, I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. 
like that. And on the other side, here we go. Here the other side, put it over here. And going around, that's good. That is the feather at the top. We probably want to uh, break the per persistent. It's very persistent, the one line over here. So I'm gonna have this a little bit bigger and then get a little bit smaller. That actually looks pretty good. I just want it to be a little bit softer. That's good. I'm gonna have a little bit line in the center and coming down like this. And now I'm gonna suggesting there is a little catch the shadow. And I'm gonna have a little bit line. Just use the tip. Okay, take a look at this feather. Okay. That's very nice. And then the center, I have a little line. You can see I really like this brush. It took me a long time to discover the two that you like. Okay, that's good. Now the feather I have pretty good details. But I'm gonna get a little red color underneath over here. Here we go. I'm going to shade the catch the shadow. A little bit Windsor blue red shade. In the catch the shadow, usually have a little bit more of this color. And maybe that's too bright. In that case, I'm gonna have a little red mix into this. Have some yellow color. There's too much brown. Too much uh the yeah, too much brown color. So I'm gonna mix a little bit more gray. Here you go. I'm gonna paint it on top of the lake. Right, I think that is pretty good. But I don't want it to look like a too solid. In that case, I'm gonna splash a little water on it. So only place soft a uh, wet now is only in the catch the shadow. I'm gonna get the red color, mix into this, make a little bit more darker brown. Paint the outside line. Supposed to be just a little bit around that. But you need to paint it around the highlight. Over here, the bottom over here, a little bit darker over here, around. That's good. I'm gonna keep a little highlight because the mouth is very shiny. I'm gonna get a little bit orange color. Continue, close up a little bit over here. All right, I'm gonna come back with a little red color separate. There's two shape. Okay, that's good. All right, almost there. I'm gonna have a little bit darker color around this red form. Here we go, like that. And a little bit over here. A little bit red color coming around over here as well. Very well. And maybe a little bit more red color, just the red. And on this side.
then it's very good. And uh, the front of the tip of the mouth, I'm gonna give a little bit indication, not too much. You still want to keep the highlight. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get some yellow orange color. I'm gonna give it even a little bit more suggestions for the feather over here. And because earlier we lost the the white color for the feather of the, the white feather, so we're gonna use a little grass white to make up for it. So this is uh, gross titanium white. I'm just going to have this put it in here and making up for it. That's good. We can add a little big background and the bottom over here. and they'll probably make it less empty. Even a little bit more, a little gray color. And that's another way to make the catch the shadow a little bit more distraction. Okay. 